Hi everyone! The maintenance of documentation of systems such as fire detection can be a tiresome manual hard work. In this video, I'll show some features that will make your job much easier. Enjoy! So, first of all, I want to tag all these uh, smoke detectors in the correct loop and sequence number. To do so, I will select all the objects from the first floor and access the properties. From the properties, I will select the tab marker. In the marker, I will activate position marker and select the predefined option fire smoke detectors. I will select the prefix where I, I would insert the loop. So this should be loop one. And in number field, is where I would start my sequence. So I start this with the sequence number one and the auto increment is to automatically uh, create the sequence for the objects. And in the length field, I can also insert the distance of the tag or the marker from the object. So I'll insert uh, 03, which indicates 30 centimeters. So this is the result and I will make the same process in the second floor. So I'll select all the objects, <clears throat> access properties, activate the marker and get the correct loop. So number two and the sequence starts with number one. I will select auto increment and insert 30 centimeters for the distance from the object. <clears throat> All right, so now I would like to simulate some change in this um, modeling. So for instance, um, I will remove some smoke detectors, all, all of them from the bedroom. And I want to insert a signaling uh, device acoustic also in the second floor. So we'll copy paste this to the second floor. Now, I, I would like also to insert a smoke detector uh, in a staircase hallway, so here. But now I would have to also get the, the correct tag for these two objects. And also this from the laundry uh, doesn't have, is not correct anymore. Uh, if we think in a really huge project, it could be very hard uh, it could be a hard work to get the correct sequence uh, with a project changing um, all over the time of course here uh, just a few objects but it will simulate how it would be done in a in a big project i will select all of these objects in a second floor and i will make use of a option called renumber position marker uh, here in the dialog, we get a list of all selected objects and we see that this, uh, the third object is now uh, with the sequence loop two and number six. But first of all, I would like, I would like this object that I have selected now and is highlighted in the model, which is the signaling device acoustic to be the last in a sequence. So I can drag and drop to the end of the list. Uh, now, to renumber all of them from the correct sequence, I can select the, the last correct one and select the option renumber from here. As you can see, all the objects below the number two has now get the correct sequence. Now that all my objects have the correct uh, indication in the model, I would like to create a system uh, and to do so, I will create a, a board. So I create a new board and in the product database, I will select the category low, volta uh, low voltage and potential and I'll select the subcategory fire alarm. So I'll select this fire alarm central. I'll create a, a circuit, so a new circuit um, from Devices category, I will select the subcategory fire JYYRED. So I click add 
and I can close but I would like to insert a new circuit so I can simply copy paste so I will Ctrl C Ctrl V now that's okay I can go back to the tab define board to uh, insert the, the object or the board in a model so I click on the place symbol option and I'll insert in a technical room all right so uh, now I will start drawing uh, the cable and connect to the objects to do so I will come to the end uh, to the bottom of the of the interface right mouse click to select the option distribution board circuit list so that I can directly see the circuits while I have available also the the models in the inter in the interface I will select the first circuit and select the option draw cable so I'll select uh, a fire warning installation cable is automatically selected so I click OK and I will move close to the board and as you can see um, a connection is recognized and bear in mind remember that the function uses more snaps must be um, activated in order to, um, to to highlight the connections so I'll click here and I will uh, change the mounting height by using a hotkey called page up in my keyboard so in absolute Z pause I inserted a new mounting height which will be uh, 2.4 meters so I click OK and now I will click and move and connect it to, to the, the objects following the sequence of the position marker all right so the first loop is connected now I will press escape to close this function and start from the sec uh, second circuit and draw cable again so click OK to start with this cable and I will again connect to the board and I, I'm going into the the wall and to go to access the second floor I will uh, click on the context menu and I will select the the option and in story above so a symbol is created uh, showing that this cable is connected to the floor above if I select this symbol I can directly open the second floor um, story port so as you can see automatically I can access um, the, the symbol for the story port so if I select this one and open uh, click on a with right mouse click I can continue this cable from the floor below so I'll click OK to save the, the floor below and again I will press the page up uh, key and change the mounting height to 2.4 now I will connect to the objects objects following the sequence all right so now that I have created a system I can also create a system diagram or system schema to do so I will access the tab system right mouse click to to select the option refresh system tree here by right mouse clicking again I can directly create agent uh, and generate a schema so I select that option save and click OK Here it is my schema with loop 1 and loop 2 and now I will make some editing for instance I, I didn't like this um, positioning of the second loop so I can move this line to the left and I can also move the objects to the left now the, the marker in the 
in the objects are misplaced. So I will manually move this below and this first one. But imagine doing this uh, with hundreds of objects. It's insane. So I can select one of these objects and I can copy the properties to the other. So I just have to click and they will be positioning correctly as the first one. If you like this video, share with your colleagues. If you have any questions or suggestions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!